All right, you can do these notes. Uh, you're going to be doing this with the sub. You can do these notes on a separate piece of paper anywhere. Um, but you will have to turn in um, some practice problems that will be graded. Uh, so put these wherever you want, wherever they're um, most accessible to you. The topic is conservation of momentum. And conservation kind of means to save. Like if you're an environmental conservationist, you want to save the environment. So the big idea is that in collisions, the total momentum of a system, and we'll go over what that means in a second, before is conserved. That means that the momentum before equals momentum after. In other words, let's look at our formula. Momentum before equals momentum after. And this is we're talking here collisions. In collisions, uh, a car accident or something in football. We'll look at examples like this. You could also write it mass times velocity total before equals mass times velocity after. And in this class, we'll be looking at examples that have two objects. So your momentum collisions just a moment. So here's what you're really going to use. If we have two objects, the mass and velocity of object 1, plus the mass and velocity of object 2 before must equal the mass times velocity 1 plus after. That's your real formula. Because you might know everything but this mass right here or something. I don't know. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's look at some uh, one more thing. There's two types of collisions. One, elastic. Uh, for now, we'll just call them elastic as when colliding objects do not stick together. So um, there's a ball, and it hits another ball. Then ball one stops, and ball two goes shooting off. That's an elastic collision. They don't stick together and it passes on the energy, kind of like those little, this thing where the balls swing back and forth and they go click, clack, click, clack. That's an inelastic collision, elastic collision. An elastic collision where the objects do stick together. So this is like a car accident, kind of, where the cars are colliding and they collide and they end up in some big mess and they've stuck together, maybe they'll slide this way a little bit. All right, little recording error, not sure where I cut off, but we find the mass before and velocity. This guy has a momentum of 180. This one has a momentum of negative 200 because he's running the opposite way. So our total is negative 20. We combine the masses because they're gonna stick together, which means we'll just have one final velocity. So mass total times velocity total, 170 times VF divided over. Our total is 0.11 meters per second to the left. Okay, Chuck Norris and the zombie. So here's Chuck Norris, his beard. And he's doing like a kind of a, I think he's doing like a, a roundhouse kick. I give him a Walker Texas Ranger hat. So he's doing a roundhouse kick as a zombie. Ah, uh, brains. Uh, uh. Chuck Norris has a mass of 80 kilograms. The zombie has a mass of 70 kilograms. The zombie's standing still. And Chuck Norris has a velocity of 10 
meters per second to the right. If they stick together, what velocity do they move off at? So our formula, mv before equals 1 plus mv2 equals mv1 plus mv2. This is 80 times 10, 800 plus 0 equals, so we know the total momentum of, this is the system. When I talk about that word system, just whatever objects we're observing that are going to interact is our system. And I know that these, they're going to stick together, so these masses will combine. And the total mass is going to be 150 plus the times the velocity we don't know. And the velocities are also going to be the same because they're going to combine. So we've got 800 equals 150 times the final velocity divided by 150 divided by 150. 800 divided by 150 equals 5.3 meters per second to the right. Okay, cue ball examples. We'll say this mass is 2 kilograms, this mass is 1 kilogram, this velocity is 4 meters per second, this velocity equals 0, and now the 2 kilogram ball is going to be moving 0. Sometimes you've seen this if you've played pool, and this ball is going to go shooting off. What's this ball's velocity? Well, we've got our before and after. Let's use our formula. mv1 plus mv2 equals mv1 plus mv2 after. 2 times 4 plus 0 equals. The momentum before is 8 kilogram meters per second, which must equal whatever this is. So this is 0. All this momentum in this whole system after has to equal whatever we have before. So this mass is zero. These are separate now. This is an elastic collision times one times velocity. So I'll get rid of this. And now I have eight kilogram meters per second equals one kilogram times whatever the velocity is. Divide by one, divide by one, Velocity equals 8 meters per second. So this one has half the mass. Momentum's conserved, so it flat, this one's now it should have twice the velocity. 8. Last example. A third law example. Okay. Uh, by the way, this is extra credit if anybody can go to the ice skating rink and make this video for me. Two people. Uh, 50, two kids, 50 kilograms, and another kid is 60 kilograms, and they're standing on ice. It's ice, by the way. Here, should I make it blue? Ice is kind of blue, right? Red? <laughs> okay, they're on ice, and we're going to say this student will push off and they're going to go accelerating outward. Uh, after the initial acceleration, I know this one's sliding off at 4 meters per second. Pretty strong. What's the velocity over here? This is after, by the way. So, mv1 plus mv2 4 equals mv1 plus mv2 after. This is all zeros. They're not moving. So that means whatever this is has to add up to zero. Equals zero. So we've got 1 and 2. So I'm going to say 
50 times velocity plus 60 times 4 equals 0. 0 equals 50 times V plus 240 minus 240 minus 240 and now we have negative 240 equals 50 times the velocity divided by 50 Ooh, just a hair under 5 240 divided by 50 4.8 this one's 4.8 meters per second so because we started with 0 we set it to 0 and then just solve that should be enough uh, your Should be enough your practice problems will be due when i come back on wednesday along with your video embedded on the force page okay